Hey there YouTubers, while I was cleaning in my gun room today I realized I have a crap load of holsters. So I thought I'd do a quick video and show you guys the holsters that I have, uh, which companies that I use uh, whenever I get a new gun where I buy my holsters from, and uh, just uh, some overall thoughts on these. Um, like a lot of guys, some of the first uh, holsters I used were like these uh, Black Hawks and Uncle Mike's, these real soft ones, and I found out real fast that these are pretty crappy. Um, my first gun I carried was a Kel-Tec and I had, it was just like this, I don't even, I don't know, this might even be the same holster I used, but uh, I did something one day and the clip came off and my gun came out and actually fell off my waistband before I could catch it and uh, made for an embarrassing day. So I don't use them, I had this one here that I kept my uh, snubby in when I pocket carry it, but you can see how broken down it is and yeah it breaks up the outline of the gun but you can tell there's a gun in your pocket when you have this one. So I don't use it much anymore. Um, this one here, just outside the waistband holster, I picked it up in a, in a box of stuff at an auction. I don't think I've ever used it. I just, just threw it in the holster drawer, and maybe I'll use it for something one day. The only one I've got that I've liked is uh, from Ruger, and it actually came uh, for the uh, LCP. And it seems to be holding up pretty well. I've been carrying this a lot lately. It's just uh, nice and easy to throw it in your jeans and, and you know, go to the store. And, uh, you know, I live in a pretty small town, so I feel good with this this on my side every day. I don't really need to, I don't feel I need to carry a big gun all the time. Uh, so this has been my main carry for a while. Um, sometimes I take this little uh, North American Arms with me. And uh, so I thought I'd get a holster for it, and I found it at a gun show for like 15 bucks. I mean, it's, it's kind of silly, but, you know, it was cool looking, so I went ahead and got it. This one here I picked up recently, it's a DeSantis Mini Scabbard, and it's like a $50 holster, but I was on eBay and I found it used for $25 and free shipping, so I had to get that, and it's for my Glock 17, and uh, you can tell it wasn't used much at all, if any, by the previous owner. Another thing I picked up off eBay was for uh, my Rock Island Armory revolver. Uh, I was having a hard time finding holsters for it, but I found this one here with the thumb brake, so you know if I'm... Uh, I'm out hiking or I take off in the canoe or something I don't have to worry about you know this if I fall out of the boat or fall down a hill I'm not gonna lose my gun and uh, it looks like it's a pretty nice holster so far I haven't went out with it yet but this one actually had to come over from Turkey and it took a couple weeks to get here but the overall quality on it seems pretty nice so there's that uh, one of the first nice holsters I ever bought was this here hybrid holster by SOB. I don't know if he's still making holsters, but for a while he was making some really good stuff. I mean, you can see all the stitching around here. Everything is uh, nice and smooth. And this was just a fantastic holder. And this holster, this is also like $95. And uh, I got this from my Glock 26. And I carried like this for a while. And I mean, I'd be outside working, um, chopping wood, all kinds of stuff. And uh, this holster was great. And the other thing I liked about it, was if I wanted to hit the woods, the bottom wasn't uh, wasn't closed off, so I could put my Glock 17 in the same holster and uh, take off to the woods. So I like that one. I just don't use it very much anymore. Then uh, some of the next holsters I got was from Concealment Express. A couple of the first videos that I ever did on YouTube were of these, and it was kind of cool because they actually ended up on the website, so they got quite a few views. But um, this is from my Glock 26. It's still the holster I use when I carry this gun, and uh, I got nothing bad to say about Concealment Express. I really like the holster. I like the fit. I like the finish. Um, I never had any issues with it. The retention, you know, it's great. So uh, every now and then they'll have a sale for $35. Uh, you can get their holsters. And if you've never tried them out, you know, for $35, bucks, you are going to get some good stuff from them. I also bought one for my J-Frame. And, uh, you know, it fits in there nice covers the trigger um, sometimes I've noticed that this end will poke you and I don't carry this gun a lot especially in the waistband it's usually just a pocket carry gun for me so I don't use this holster a lot but I got it um, another another company I use is click holsters which is which is that group of holsters up here um, they made a couple holsters for my Glock 17 and uh, they put the ferro rod on there for me so that's that's cool that's a nice holster. It rides pretty, it rides kind of high, but it rides, you know, it's not bad. And I went hiking with this and put some miles on this one, and uh, it's been a good holster. And I also had a make in the waistband for my 17, and uh, it, it's great. 
It's got a nice finish to it. Everything's smooth. Uh, I was real happy with that. Um, this one here is one of the first ones I bought from them. From my Ruger SR22. And uh, believe it or not, I carried this for a short period of time with this holster. And uh, my dad, he's got one of these holsters from them. And he loves it. I think my mom has one too. And they all like this holster. So uh, click holsters, I, I can't say enough good about them either. Now, I uh, also had to make an uh, appendix carry for the, the Kimber. And uh, that's my girlfriend's gun. So if she can carry, you know, with uh, the kind of clothes that she wears, this uh, conceals a lot better for her than, than it does for me because my belly's a little bit, little bit bigger. Now, uh, recently, I checked out Windhill holsters, which are those two back there for my uh, 1911. And uh thing is, the Rock Island Armory isn't uh, isn't the same size as most 1911s. So this first one I got was real stiff, and uh, the customer service was fantastic. I guess one of the guys at the shop had one of these, and uh, they made me one that fits real nice for it. So if you got one of these Rock Island Armories, you might want to mention to the company, and uh, you know, see it, make sure their their uh, holsters fit that gun. So. That's what I use, guys. Um, obviously, I like Kydex and uh, Click Holsters, Concealment Express, and I just started using that Windhill Holsters, and they all seem to be great. Um, so leave leave something in the comments. Tell me what you guys use. Who do you guys like? Uh, what kind of kind of holsters do you do you like? Whether they're leather, whether they're Kydex. Um, if you like the video, hit like. Appreciate it. Subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching.